our let's play of the French campaign in Hearts of Iron Darkness. Into the darkness. And when we last left off, we learned that the Belgians had become a great power, which by far is the most shocking thing in this entire let's play. And we have taken another part in our plan for our eventual French colonial empire, which was we took this little Jehorian empire, which was awesome. <laughs> Just want to say that that was awesome. So our next part of our plans, which I've clearly kind of mapped out, <laughs> is we're going to be taking on some Argentinian re rebels. Because at this point, I don't think Argentina really has its own country. And just a little, just a little like look at what's happening. Apparently, there was a crisis I'm I didn't even look at where Brittany got to keep Oregon. So, apparently there is now only going to be 49 states in America. Actually, wait a minute. Less than that, because eventually America will take out the rest of here. But, there was some other news that kind of made me think maybe I shouldn't go to war with Argentina right now. And that is, let me show you in the newspapers, I was just kind of checking it out. June 1939, war between Brazil and Colombia. So, this is the war we've been kind of looking after, and the Americans have the model colony, which I still don't know how that happens. I don't get that. That that doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. So, and Brazil feels on mine. Ha, 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 they should. Um, but yes, this is the kind of event I was looking forward to, so, you know. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should go try to rush some armies to go, like, Gain what I need from Colombia right now while they're still fighting. Um, but I haven't really tested this out yet, so I'm just going to see if they would accept. They would accept. All right, let's form an alliance with them then. Oh, let's also form an alliance with Sweden because we do want the Swedes to help us out if we if we are about to die. They would be a great help to us. And apparently, when did the French? When? Did, when did? Um, no. You aren't quite, you aren't worthy anymore of my, of my powers. So, I'm gonna move, gonna combine, gonna use you guys to go strengthen that army, and you guys go strengthen this army. I think that balances it out. Yeah, I think that balances it out. But, yeah, so we'll get those two alliances. So, I, I was thinking of that, but I'm just gonna see. Maybe I, I'm gonna see if I can even enter the war. Because... That would seriously... Hmm... Well, actually, I think I just have to wait for Brazil to actually enter the war. If they, if they want me in the war, they'll get me in the war. If they don't want me in the war, they don't want me in the war. But, I hopefully they'll get me in the war. <laughs> Anyways, while that's happening, we're gonna be... Taking over Argentina. Like, I've been saying this entire episode. So, declare war. Demand concession, famine, let's go. I doubt anyone's ever going to join this side. And let's see how our factories are doing. Any ones I can kind of help out start? Uh, yeah, we'll invest a little bit into that one. Because right now our investments aren't really helping us because the government is kind of being a jerk right now. Okay, so first thing first, first things first, we need to move this army down here. To go take out these and you two kind of pinhead the main army in the capital and classical classics we discovered and when i read of the athens of particles the progressiveness of the ancient societies always astounds me here i am thousands of years later a less free man than they were they back then the 19th century saw a resurgence of interest in the ancient Greek classics. Many of the ancient societies, Roman and Greece, were looked to for inspiration by liberal thinkers, seeing in them proto-examples proto and experiments in those same traditions of freedom that they sought to implement in the modern era. A local reform club has republished some of selected pieces of ancient literature that are becoming high fashions among the educated elites of France. Honestly. Honestly, have you nothing better to do? <laughs> it is good to see the classic receiving some attention. Scholastic deletes anyone? 
dialogues? I don't know what that means, actually. Okay, and apparently they just completely bypassed me. All of you guys, go right here. You're not gonna escape this time. Yep. And, oh, the Liberal Student Association. <sighs> no. <laughs> I think they're all dead. I think, I think we just completely wiped them out. And over there we have that, so... We can now just go send our SARC troops in to just... Kind of make sure they all die. Mm -hmm. And we have these guys. So we don't actually need both armies in this place. We can actually spread them out. Because we defeated most of the army over there. So there's only one army we really have to worry about. Mm. Maybe... Yeah. I'm so, I'm so going to get like lots of rebels or... Leaders of rebels are just gonna be like, oh, we don't like this, we don't like this, we don't like this, we don't like this about your country. I'm just gonna be like, meh, do whatever you want. <sighs> so right now we are conquering Argentina, and apparently they just got like a major population boost. I'm really debating if I should just go break off the siege, but what I think I'll do is I'll go keep one guy here and go send the 19,000 to go hunt down. Because I already know they're going to be coming in this region. Ah, luckily, I have a little bit faster. The sicker, yes, send. Whenever it says send an expedition, you always send an expedition. Because the potentiality for bonus production and stuff is so great, you should do it. Always. Always. And Portugal discredits. Spain discredits me. Good job, Spain. You, you guys are just... You guys are great where you are, you know. It's not like I could definitely take you guys over if the time arose. And let's just move these guys down. Argentina is trying to get that peace against Morocco. Well, I Morocco is just kind of there for my plans. And will you guys accept peace? Okay, proceed. Fine. And voila, everyone. The war for... The war for half of Argentina is over. The full war will probably be carried out in a little bit later date, but at least we have something. And right now we need to make sure our factories recover because we need to pay a lot of debts. Good riddance. Yeah, let's let's repay all the loans we've gathered up over the time. Okay, there we go. And huh, we can almost liberal agitation. Right. We can actually increase some of our classics we discovered. Like I said, I'm choosing a second option. And, you know, we can actually increase our education, which is good, because we actually do need more education. And we got a new thing. War between France and Argentina on August. Well, a little bit late there, Le Toms. I'm, I'm not going to lie. You guys are a little bit late there. So, our Netherlands relations, an article in the Dutch newspaper paints a picture of the amiable relationships with the United Kingdom. Really? You know, the United Kingdom just like destroyed you guys and just kind of made you guys the, uh, well, yeah, they did that. So why are you guys having good relations? Two cities fear our might. They should victory over Johor. Yeah, I already knew about that. Yay! The whole world is right again. Okay. Now that we have Argentina under our grasp. We can then either go for a new, a massive invasion plan is continuing as planned. <laughs> and I think now, yes, I can finally sphere Brazil. Add to sphere. There we go. Yay! So now my sphere, which means, are my, are my Argentinians, okay, this will definitely help us. So you guys, yes, you guys definitely support the production of this. This actually will help me out. I'll finish the production of this, just to help you lazy capitalists. Because I'm not even taxing you guys, and you guys are causing me trouble. But, anyway, so we need to now prepare for our either invasion of Egypt, uh, Dom, which hopefully they don't have an alliance with, dang it, they have an alliance with China. Okay, so since they have an alliance with China, we're going to wait for them to the, for Russia to go war against China, and then we're going to go to war against the Nam. 
because we honestly, like, honestly, we can never take on, we'd never be able to take on China with our kind of puny military. At least at this point in our stage, we can't take them on. So then, that leaves us with two options. Egypt or Colombia. Egypt or Colombia. Egypt or Col Okay, just stop. Let's go with the lesser infamy gain of, of Egypt. Because Egypt's going to be a little bit... Dismantle fortifications. Ah, I've never, I've never seen that event before, but I might do that at some point, but not now. So let's see, new things. War between Spain and Morocco. Kind of figured. Prusca fears we are coming. Okay, that's scary. If Prusca fears us, that means nothing. That th there's some things that aren't good right now with our relations. Okay. Okay, and now we can combine our two armies. Okay, we have no military or no, like, manpower here. But I can't actually make any manpower, so that isn't good. Alright, and we still have... How much are the Pruskins to us? Dang, they have almost even military with us. That is not good. Like, at all. If they have even military, that means they will definitely declare war on us. But, oh, we have elections. So, everyone, love a war. Opinions about this are so divided that we should now think. So... What do we want? We want jindoism. When do we want it? Now. Yeah. Okay. That's our public stance. July column unveiled. In Paris, the July column commemora commemorating the 650 dead of the 1830s July Revolution was unveiled in 1840. Let us remember the dead. Those poor dead people. And I should have said this earlier, but that was a moment of silence. Okay, what do we need? Do we want free potato or protectionism? Or protectionism or free trade? What do we want? Okay, we're more of a free trade country. <laughs> I just had to look over at the demographics and I realized, yeah, we're never going to be able to become a, a non-free trade country. And demand concessions. <clears throat> a little bit high right now. So what do we want? We want to grant full citizenship. We want to be a very, 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 very nice country. And we're having a lot of loans, actually. That's good. Don't send in the troops. I will not be a violent person. I'm trying to be the most, like, liberalistic and idealistic country ever. Well, there are no good... Well, that's just mean. Um... Mmm... Um, I think the third one was really what we wanted to do. Because right now our people are kind of divided in that issue. Okay, so the French people now, now apparently are religious people. Yes, I, I've decided I'm going to go with that one. Alright, so what do we need to do? Well, we need to just kind of start preparing for our invasion of Egypt, which is actually going to be a little bit more intense than our invasion of other places. Because of the simple fact that it's going to take us, hmm, wouldn't want to say longer, but it's going to take us a lot more, it's going to take a lot more manpower to, like, defeat the Egyptians. Ah, dang. Okay, so this only, this actually has a pretty weak, like, naval base, so I'm just going to, like, with this, increase our clipper trans... No, no, no. Wait a minute. Let's not... We're done building clippers. It's it's time for the age of steams. So I'm just going to build some steamer ships right on the port. Because I need transports. Alright. And off-screen, people, with all the money that I now have, I'm going to finish up these stupid railroads. Okay? I'll be right back. Okay, when I said finish the rest of the railroads, I meant just finish this part of the railroads. Yeah, we run out of money again. But, on the bright side, we know our country is slowly getting more infrastructurally safe. Okay, so, we want, we definitely want decisive arguments for interventionism. Interventionism is where, it's kind of where our government needs to be headed. Alright? And... Right now, we're building more transports on the side. I oh, mean, so many things we have to do. 
Good riddance. Right? Interventionism. Okay. Jacobson's uprising. I really don't care. Until they start getting violent. The Egyptian men are coming for us. Okay? And Portugal. I think we can now... Either we're just getting the friends of Portugal. Or... Yeah, we're just getting the friendly with Portugal. They're protected by? Oh, they're in the sphere of Spain. Ooh. I'm messing around with their sphere. Eh, I don't care. Okay. Try to keep things in mind. Alright. Next thing I think we should do is I think we should sphere out Sardinia. Sardinia would be a great ally for us to sphere. Because of it's just massively close to us. And plus we can use it for our maybe you unification of Italy event. I don't know. With that I think we'll also try to start sphering uh two Sicilies. They will accept, but not necessarily I want to make them accept. They aren't my most important vassal. Like seriously, they aren't. Hmm. What do we need? Because it seems like we have a lot of diplomatic influence. Like just instant like diplomatic hundred percent we get everyone to our side. Longing for a free press. Uh, perhaps we can find, work something out. Hmm. You know, let's, let's try to, let's say perhaps we work something out. Because, you know, that gives us some prestige. And it's really not that much of, like, a big, big thing to lose. Like, that wouldn't be one of my quizzical things I can't lose. Okay. And now rebels are starting to arm in my country. Which is not good. While they aren't that threatening, that still means I now have to start dealing with threat of rebels. And in that amount of time, only one transport was built. Okay. That is quite sad. But I think we have how many? Five. Dang. Do I risk an invasion now? Well, how long do I have this council spelled? I'm gonna hope the Ottomans start invading before this. Cause it seems like they already claimed some of the area back. So I'm hoping in a year they'll go back to war. Cause I honestly don't have the military yet to do this. But the Jacobsons, okay, the Jacobsons are annoying me, like I said. They're gonna be my main enemy in this campaign. US relations, oh that's good. Greek insults! What? And then new news from Prussia. And then, Mozart Festival, eh, nothing really, nothing too much of news. Okay, you guys, go right here, meet in the Tuscany. Oh, she's, oh shoot, seems like there was a, a rebellion and there was a new consciousness in the Netherlands. So, Netherlands is now like a backwards country, full of just no voting and... A monarchy, basically. Well, congratulations, Netherlands! You guys are more imperialistic than I am. At least in terms of your government. Not in terms of goals. You guys don't seem like you have any goals. That was mean, but I'm not taking it back. Okay, it seems like Spanish, Spain, Spanish have kind of mocked my plan over here. For taking over... For taking over, uh... Morocco. But I didn't really care, that wasn't really like a, a serious line. Hmm. Uh, I guess our policy stands? I don't know. I don't know if I should get out of it or stay in it. And, uh, air out. So let's invest inside the foreign country. Canned? No. There we go. I've invested in all these things. Liquor factories aren't that bad. Like, liquor factories are kind of good. Uh, Prestige. Gano. No. Okay, and time to gain two Sicilies. Increase opinion of us. Friendly, yay. Okay. And while we're here, I'm going to look at our, nat where our national focus is again. Oh, yeah, we were increasing capitalists. Hmm. 
you know, I might actually reverse that to something else by like increasing, because what we want, what is it? It's in this region right here. Right here in this regions, we want kind of steel factories. As you can see, they have a high concentration of of stuff. So if we can have a basic, I'm gonna put it from the region calculate. Okay, there we go. Back to the game and debate and waiting for our ships to like build up so we can start our invasion of of the Egyptians. I mean, I'm not like seriously, it wouldn't seriously be that hard to like pull off an invasion of Egypt. It'd just be much easier if I had the Ottomans to back me up in this. Rock me in my cradle or distribute cotton. You know what, we actually need our we actually need our cotton. <laughs> For once, I'm actually going to say we need cotton. Okay. And would you guys like to form an alliance? They would not accept because there's too many. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Napoleon, what? The body of Napoleon Bonaparte, who died in 1821 on St. Helena, was returned to France in December 1840. During the first days after his funeral in the Dome de, de Invalides. Invalides in Paris, hundreds of thousands paid him their respects. Well, good job. I, I well, that's something I did not know. I did not know that they actually returned his body to France. Huh? This game's educational. Who would have known? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go send these guys. That should be enough transport. So now I could, I could at least begin the first stages and. I'll actually start moving because they can't act Man, look at look at the Argentinian military. It just went to like something worse than death. Alright. So I'm gonna move all my soldiers over here so that they are instantly ready to help deploy when I need them. Okay, let's combine all these guys and everyone go on the boat. And let us transport you guys. This is just going to be, like I said, the first, the first kind of wave. Hmm. Not well, what we could do is. Hmm. Nah. Yeah, this is just kind of the first wave for our massive invasion. Because I did, I put these two bulletins here, and it says there's two people, so. Quiet state against Netherlands detected. I don't really care. You can do whatever you want. I I'm seriously not your gatekeeper, Belgium. Like, seriously, I'm just here to do my job. And, actually, you know what? We'll go back here for a second. Because, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the transports. An eternal crisis is brewing. What? Oh, finally, we get one of these. So... In the beginning of the episode, I said I'd been missing some of the crises, but I think I'm finally going to be involved in one. So, as great powers expected of us to assert our position, yes, we are interested in this crisis. France declares interest in the crisis. Or this crisis doesn't concern us and we lose. Proceed. What is the crisis? Please tell me it's something small, so I don't have to... Idaho! Crisis over the rights to colonize Idaho or United Kingdom. Ooh, this would be a really hard one. Well, to be honest with you, I'm an American, so Idaho belongs to the United States. Please tell me I did not choose the wrong side because I could not deal with... Okay, how are we doing with Russia? How does Russia like us right now? Russia hates us. That is not good. Let's become buddy buddies with Russia. Because <laughs> we need them. I think Belgium and, and me are pretty cool guys, aren't we? Yeah, me and Belgium are pretty cool right now. I expect I expect the Spain the Spanish to join my side on this war because they are on my do to do list. But wow. Seems like we might be actually going to war with with the uh UK and what is it? 
The dramatic states a little bit early. That isn't good. Just saying that now. But now that we can combine this, I'm going to break off. Let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. The six right here. I'm going to break off as many as I can. So. So I'm going to break off. One, two, three. So one, two, three, five, six. Okay, and break up two more. Okay, there we go. And what you guys, you guys will continue. Other guys, you guys will go pick up another army over here of five troops. Who has a five stack? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's way too big. Four, five. You guys. And you guys. You guys will be my army that will go in and help us secure the Suez Canal. So that I have my two little ships that I wanted. Okay, there we go. You guys get on the boats. And move right here. And you guys move right here. Okay. And Sphering Influence, yay! Who? Sardinia Piedmont. Yay! Sardinia is now added to my sphere. Glorious day it is. And whole oh, Schneister. Sh um, that is not good. Um, that is not good. That means if, if there was a potentially a war, I'd have to deal with two fronts. Not one, but two fronts. Um, right now my army is going to be barely strong enough to deal with one front. So, uh, quickly, make friends with Sardinia. Sardinia is going to be the one that's going to have to save me. Seriously. It's the only one. Okay, Netherlands Nationals have enforced the demands. Oh, really? Ah! Everyone! All hail the mighty nation of Java. Huh. Never thought that would form in my life. So, there were two things that have been very weird in this campaign. Belgium was a great power, and Java formed. Java. Who would have known? And so, Christ is set in motion, we know. Um, Saxony goes to war. Alsa fears on my, oh my goodness. And breakthrough in Haiti, oh my goodness. That's scary. And Napoleon returns. This, this is really, I, I'm wondering if I should just let my cause's belly die. This is actually very turbulent times. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly thinking I'm on the wrong end of, yep, I, I'm, is there any way I can, I can like back it, back out? Like seriously, is there any way I can like back out? Because unless Austria joins my side, we are seriously not going to win this. Like... <laughs> I know my limitations as a strategic mastermind, it's not that great. <laughs> and that would just seriously like crush us. What? But, we still have... Did it? can't declare war or do anything with a crisis on us. Okay. You know, I'm not... That's not sad, sad at all because I actually need to start preparing my colonies and my men for the up-and-coming, uh... war. So I'm gonna form an alliance with... Sardinia. Okay, good. I didn't need you guys. Oh, yeah, and you guys are also... Papel is also in my states. Yeah, so I have a good like kind of chokehold in Italy. I'm trying to get the two Sicilies on my side too, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. So apparently we have an eternal crisis brewing in the mix, and this has kind of messed up my invasion plans. Thanks a lot. So. I'm going to have my troops right over here, right on the Spanish border. Usually the French don't have that big of an army, so 
we usually never have to worry about that. Um, could move my soldiers back over here to the border between the French colonies and the, and the American colonies. And the United Kingdom accepted the crisis offer from, from the United States terms acquire Idaho. Oh, well it seems like I didn't even have to go to war and that means, oh shoot, that means I only have like a month to like get my, never mind, armies, never mind, never mind, seems like we're, get on your boats, we're going back to war, alright, so, if, alright, seems like, I'm just gonna have to declare war right now, demand concession of Sudan, Sinai, I think, I think it's called Sinai now, Egyptian Sinai. Yes, yeah, Sinai. Okay. Probably should have asked for some of my allies to come into war. But anyways, that's going to have to be for next episode. I'm so sorry, people, but somehow... <sighs> that crisis, man. Okay, now I know what crises do. <laughs> that's that's kind of scary because we, we would have gone up. But it's kicked, so... <sighs> Just, we avoided it. We avoided it. But next time, people, you guys will see the invasion of Egypt. And I hope... It's going to be in a glorious French annihilation. Well, Egyptian annihilation. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.